the trademark for Connecticut. They have to do this and stop the offensive output of Dallas now that they have Satu and Jalen back along with Agumba Wale. And for the wings, you got to go to the big girls. Oh, yeah. Really stressing in camp the last couple of days. For Dallas, they want to push the tempo. They want to score six seconds in the shot clock. Uh, Natasha Howard didn't play either game with Connecticut this season. Yeah, I really think she has to be a key for this Dallas team. Okay. Arike shows the three, buries the three. McCowan was a big factor in that opening game between these two teams back in May. Here's Satu, nothing but the bottom of the net for the three. Congratulations, Arike. Eight nothing. Mabry dumps it off inside. Thomas, double pumps, got it. That shows Marina Mabry's basketball IQ. She's just learning the actions of Connecticut. Yeah, and Connecticut makes offense very easily easy. They just focus on those fundamentals. And there is Thomas with the easy layup. This is Howard with the floater in and out. Offensive rebound. McCowan can't finish it. Breezy Jones pulls it away. Here is Thomas. Watch her push it. And Enrique gave her a shoulder count it and won. Those of us that knew her knew she was going to end up somewhere and be successful, and she has. Good fit. It's a good fit for Connecticut. Bonner, Ooh. the three rattles it. Just steady. Bonner, one three-pointer away from eighth all-time in WNBA history. Dallas has missed their last nine shots. Angelica Suffren says they're trying to see if that's going to count or not. Yeah, I was going to help help Angelica. She looked over. <laughs> no, we got to go this way with it. Marina Mabry from the outside knocks down the three. Not looking to pass the basketball. They got the offensive rebound, kick it out to her, let her stroke it. Dallas worked on their drop two defense this whole week, but then they leave Marina Mabry open. Hello. Well, we saw her in her first game, the exhibition game against Indiana, and she was unbelievable. It's exciting to watch her come out there and you like Dallas has a different dimension when she's on the floor. Going to trade for Mo Jefferson and Rachel Bantam. Olivia Nelson Adota, great position down low, sealed everybody off. I tell you, that was that was like an Emmett Smith, you know, <laughs> you know, just stiff arm there. Here's JC Sheldon, rattles the three. Fans loving that. In the WNBA, they allow the fewest points at 72.9. Inside, nice hustle, Kalani Brown. Big board, points in the paint. She can do so well. Here is Thomas, hands it off to Burton. It's a good seal by oh, 18. Beautiful nice. pass. Melissa Thomas with the assist, already. Nelson Adonan, no, nice defense, Kalani Brown. Up ahead to Arike. Arike got a step on the defense, got it. His success, ability to get off the bounce. Great passer. Tierra goes to the floor. Shot clock at five. Harris left open. And Makes him pay with a three. And terrific shooter. Just to put that in perspective, that's what they make on an average per game. Woo! Beautiful move, Natasha Howard. But still, with a big 11-point advantage, that is their biggest of the game. Jones off her foot. Enrique trying to beat Harris. Leans in, got it. Ball from the corner, no. This is where Dallas has to take advantage of Connecticut. Satu inside. Playing in her 487th game. Second best active player to Diana Taurasi. Her daughters are, are loving what mom is doing out here. Seven years nice. old, she told us. Inside, Howard wanted the foul, didn't get it. Four minutes to play here in the opening half. It's been an entertaining one. The defense. Mabry making her debut. Jones left open that easy 17. Get some early work done so that you can get an easy layup. Nice pick and roll there. McCowan rolled. Howard can't okay. get it. One handed shot by Tierra McCowan. Okay, Tierra. It's an easy layup, so you got to make sure you are paying attention. Bonner, that is the way it's drawn up. Yep. Beautiful inbounds play. Say it again. Connecticut back to nine. Yeah, communication on these picks, very important here. Mabry started the game with a three and ends the first half with a three. I don't think she gets the, enough touches. I would agree with that. 
Connecticut unselfish. 15 assists on 17 field goals. Made it again. It's Marita Mabry. So now she's going to take you down low. 6'5", 6'5", 6'3". Sautu gives it up. J.C. Sheldon buries the three. First second of the ball game. She's got a half a dozen. Unbelievable. Here's Harris. Fans want a foul. Botter launches over. Savile got the three. She is playing with a great attitude. Botter. Thomas, that one-handed push shot, gets the spin of the roll. Melissa Thomas with a double-double. 10 points, 10 rebounds, three assists away from a triple-double. Dallas counters it. Reverse. I don't know what that was Natasha Howard did, but it went down. Connecticut hasn't missed a field goal in this quarter, and it continues. Ronica Burton's checked into the lineup. The lead is 17. Biggest of the ball game. Dallas hasn't led since it was 8-6. By virtue of the transfer portal, now following her career in, in the yeah. W. Played last Goodness. night in Chicago, had a career-high six points in Connecticut. And you hit it defensively. It's, it's, it's all defense for them. Intensity. Stopping, help defense, nothing is, is happening defensively for Dallas right now. Again, Dallas, the toughest remaining schedule. Got to go to New York for back-to-back -back games. But their playoff possibilities dwindle with every loss. And Enrique. Final 15 seconds, four second difference shot of the game clock. Satu counted, foul on Taylor. Understandable, but it, it starts on the defensive end for them, and so that's where they haven't been able to, to really get locked in. Well, they've got to get locked in because Connecticut's shooting 56% because of great passes from Bonner inside. And that's the way the third quarter will end. Contribution is very important. It's cool to see the WBL out there, too. We're going to Mabry inside, and she continues her assault. Once again, this is a team that's playing without Dijanae Carrington, without Tiffany Mitchell, and they have not missed a beat tonight. And the entire organization say, how do we get over that hump? Here is Arike, got the three. Her second of the ball game. And, and yeah, it's just overwhelming, you know, to be with so many players that I played against, coached yeah. against, coached with. And here we are in one building. We are in history. We're getting older. And we, like Fran. Y'all are getting older. Y'all are getting older. Why man. am I always the oldest one? <laughs> I'm tired of this. One rebound away, or two rebounds away. Stop the ball. You can't let her get deep. You have to stop her before the three point line. Harris from the outside got the three. Ty Harris. Four of the five starters in double figures. Nice. For Connecticut, counted. Tuesday, followed by a Thursday game against the Liberty. And Tawana Bonner's got 29. So many. She's been a player in the league. She's been successful in the league as a coach. And players believe in her. They do. They, they believe in her system. The gospel of defense when this is over. We know that she hangs her head on that as a coach, and her team has not had great defensive intensity tonight. That's a remark. Whoa. Nelson Adota on the inside. Overall, 30 wow. assists they had back in 2022 versus Atlanta. And the three buried by Arike. So Connecticut will go to 19 and six on the year, nine and three on the road. Now they head to Atlanta, and Dallas is going to have to find a way to scratch out a win. They go to 6-20 on the season, 4-8 at home.